What's up, everybody? No, the Instant Pot is not dirty. That is actually, for some reason, baked on there. Um, I'm going to have to scrub this when I get home. There is only so much that baby wipes and water will do with this thing. Um, but we're going to roll with it anyway. I wiped it out. It is clean. So, I cooked hamburgers last night, if you looked at the YouTube channel. And I have saved in the George Foreman catchable thing the drippings from the hamburgers. Whoa, that is too high. And we're going to use these for stuff today. No, those little brown things aren't burnt. That is flavor. And I'm probably going to use almost all these. We'll see. So I want to get that good and melted here. How's everybody doing? Happy Elimination Chamber Day. Tell you what we're doing here. We're doing hot hamburgers. Um, I've already cooked some of the hamburger earlier. Give me one second here. All right, I could not find my spatula here. Um, I want to get all that in there because you know what? chuck all this in. Of course this does not have to be the hamburger drippings. This could be the uh, this could be bacon drippings. And we're going to melt this down. Because we're going to fry some things in this. Um, let's see here. Hot hamburgers are different depending on where you are. Um, where I'm from in the what they call south side of Virginia sorry I'm eating onions um, a hot hamburger is literally a hamburger on a bun and then they smother it in gravy we're not doing that today we're going to do something a little different a lot of onions here. We're going to get those rolling in that beef fat. Don't worry, this will all come together. Let's add more. Let's add more onions. You can never have enough onions. Sorry, you just can't. Take away from my onions from me, I can't cook. All right. And we're going to cook these down on kind of a, we're going to cook them down so they caramelize almost. Come on, get back on there, Pat. The lid for this thing will not cooperate. What is up with this lid? Good enough. There we go. All right. Put my onions back in the fridge. And we're going to cook these down until they almost caramelize. And I'm also going to throw in these uh, sliced organic washed baby bellas. They look good. I'm going to throw in a bunch of these too. Look at them. Oh, man. Those are going to cook down beautifully. Look at that. Lots of mushrooms here. A 
want some of the little ones. Because <laughs> I want them to break down. The rest of these will go in a bag and go back in the fridge when I'm done. And the key is here now just to cook these mushrooms and onions in the beef fat. And we'll be right back when these are done. Alright, as you can see, let me see if I can get my fan on here. Extract away some of that smoke. There we go. Onions. The thing with mushrooms is they have a lot of water in them. Onions do too, so you got to kind of cook that out. And I think I might actually add more onions to this. Well, no, nah, I'm fine. I'm good. But we got to cook that down. We got to cook, you know, it's already looking brown. But, uh, we're going to make it more brown. Still want these mushrooms to cook down a little bit. So, uh, take it low and slow, and we'll be right back. All right, everything's still simmering along. We are almost there. I want these mushrooms to get kind of fried up here before we add our next ingredient. So I'm still cooking these down. We'll be right back. Okay, we're right where we need to be here with this. And add a little bit more beef tallow, beef fat. Alright. Now we will go in with some flour. about three teaspoons here Let's see how this does first you make a roux as the Cajuns say that looks good Let's see if I can scrape the rest of this beef fat in there to counteract that Let's cook for a few minutes here. All right, I gotta add butter. Ah, didn't quite have enough fat in there. As my fan falls over again. Oy. All right. Let this cook for a minute. Cook down, get that flour taste out of there. And then we will go in with some beef consomme, which is basically uh, from the Campbell Soup Company. And it is essentially just beef broth with gelatin added to it. Come on, butter melt in there. All right, here we go. And I like using the beef consomme because it does have a little bit of a saltiness to it, but also that's what that looks like here if you're looking for this in the store. Beef consomme. It's basically just beef broth with but they keep in most of the gelatin. And whisk that together. Later, I'll switch back over to my thing here. And 
we'll sit here and watch this come up to a boil. I'll even kick up the heat a little bit. And once it comes up to a boil, it should uh, thicken up nicely. We'll be back. All right, and as you can see, down to low, we have gravy. Now I fried up the other two hamburger patties. I'm gonna break them in half. I did leave them a little bit pink. They're gonna go in there and simmer, simmer, simmer away. And um, I'm gonna go ahead and set up here. I got some uh, peas that I'm gonna microwave, and I got some. Uh, Bob Evans mashed potatoes is what I'm going to microwave, and that's going to be our dinner. We'll be right back. I'm going to show you what this looks like all plated up here. Actually, I may not do the mashed potatoes. Generally, a hot hamburger. I mean, this is maybe more like Salisbury steak. Um, a hot hamburger is served over bread. That's obvious, but I'm going to go with the mashed potatoes tonight because that's what I feel like doing. Man, that looks good. Yeah, we'll call this Salisbury steak. We're changing it. That looks good too. It's got the grill marks on there. Look at that. Look at that. Look at those grill marks. That's awesome. <laughs> we'll be back. I'll get I'll plate it up. <laughs> Alright, so there we have it. Um the mashed potatoes are just some Bob Evans mashed potatoes that you microwave and the peas come in a little thing that you microwave and they taste good and then we have our Salisbury steak with mushroom and onion gravy I'm gonna go eat <laughs> 